Doctor, I bring in all the wishes and greetings from uh, Speed Institute uh, for you on behalf of all the faculty members for scoring a topmost rank in uh, DM Cardiology, rank number 107 in session of uh, NEET SS 2021. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. All your wishes and teachings, sir. Really great, Doctor. Wonderful. And uh, you have done amazingly well. And uh, and we want to know from Dr. Anand, where is he coming from? Where did his medicine? And where he finished his uh, MD? And why he wants to do DM cardiology? Yes, sir. I did my uh, UG, my MDBS from... Uh, CHS Medical College, KEM, Mumbai. And then I did my PG from uh, BJ Medical College, Pune. I passed out, uh, passed in the year 2019. And uh, I attempted, it was my second attempt this time for DM Cardiology. And I had always been fascinated by cardiology right from the very beginning. In fact, from my late MBBS days, as in ECGs and everything used to fascinate me a lot. So that is where the first uh, love for cardiology uh, sparked and then i started studying and i i developed an interest in it and so i pursued it as a dm option very good doctor great now we want to know from you what was your preparation strategy when did you start how did you prepare how many hours you spent can you uh, tell us on that yes sir uh, I started sincerely, uh, if I say, yeah, I started uh, studying after I finished my MD, as in I passed my MD. Till then I used to uh, just focus on the basics and the wards and uh, passing my MD exam. After that, I uh, started pursuing for this uh, NEET SS from October 2019, that is an year ago, almost an year ago. And uh, uh, firstly, as yeah. Then there were allowed, uh, as we thought, we had only six to seven months for the next coming exam. I focused myself uh, to uh, Harrison's, Harrison's uh, cardio part as well as the general medicine part. And uh, obviously the speed videos, that is where the crux of the cardiology uh, was. The crux, I got the crux of the cardiology. I I went through all the videos of Asim sir and that helped me a lot and more than that I thought I did not need anything except for that from cardiology point of view. I uh, studied cardiology uh, Harrison in depth then but uh, as the exams got, got postponed I still had time so I brushed up uh, a few chapters from Brunwald as well. So that has been uh, my strategy going through the videos, uh, making short notes and just reading and revising the whole things again and again. Were you able to complete all the videos and tests? Uh, I won't say I completed all, but yes, there were few which I used to revise a lot. As in, I, I had uh, earmarked the important videos and all, which I would study uh, often and repeatedly. And I would say I covered 60 to 70 percent. Great. How many questions did you attend, doctor? I attempted 198. Uh, I skipped two questions. Ah, sorry, 98. I skipped two questions. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. what will be your message? What do, you, what do you want to tell those students who are aspiring for DM cardiology? What will be your message? And if you, when you are preparing, uh, you would have definitely thought, I should have done this like that. Something you would have thought when you are doing. Now you can tell that, that will be a great experience from your side for them to learn. I think uh, it's a, a great learning medium as in till now it was like uh, if you prepare for cardiology, you can study cardiology. So you develop the interest for it and then you, you actually study the subject you want to pursue. So just keep on studying the basics. That is what is asked in the exams. Even this time, the cardiology paper was tough, but it was full of concepts which were taught in the classes and which are there in the books. There's nothing very uh, uh, out of the blue which was asked, but it was just the uh, ramification of the concepts which was uh, which seemed very tough. So just uh, going through the basics, clearing your concepts and 
learning all the basic concepts and learning all the basic stuff what all is taught in the videos in the classes and there is in there is in the standard textbook i would say harrison would suffice for the next exam also that is what is my uh, view point and studying harrison in and out would be enough for the coming exams i guess and they are going through the videos and clearing your concepts that is it very good very good doctor now uh, i mean i mean this opportunity now given to you to thank whom all you want to thank so far in your medical career until date you can please do so so that it can be viewed by all those loved ones from your side and also uh, those people who have a lot of well wishes <laughs> that would be a very long list sir uh, right from my ug days but yes in <laughs> all my teachers sir uh, as in uh, especially my in my pg days as well my guide my hod and everybody who would uh, uh, help me who would uh, who had cultivated my interest in uh, this field and also sir uh, your support your videos asim sir's uh, excellent teaching skills and everything all the videos and everything that i uh, that it was something that uh, hooks you up you keep on reading you keep on knowing more and you you want to know more so all these people and all these uh, uh, people in and their efforts have made this possible sir Uh, indebted to all of you sir great doctor and once again i bring you all the wishes and greetings to you to all your family members to your friends to relatives and uh, and, and to you as well and uh, and to have a great career in uh, cardiology and to be a great cardiologist in years to come to contribute more to the specialty and also to the people who are going to get service under you best wishes to you and keep going thank you sir.